documentation in a Laravel project using the Socialite library. So here's the documentation for Socialite. This is for Laravel 12. And before we're actually going to start looking at the documentation itself, we're going to set up the Google Cloud project. So I'm already logged in. The URL is console.cloud.google.com. And the first thing you need to do is to choose the project. Okay, so here you can click here and choose which project you want to work on. I will use this one, a project that I already created before. If you don't have a project, then just go ahead and create one. Then we click here and under API and services, we need to choose OAuth consent screen. Now, if it is a new project, you will see a button that says get started. So just click on get started. So I'm quickly going to go over the settings that I set here. In branding, I didn't, didn't do anything. I just left everything with the default settings. Then we need to move on to audience. And in audience, we need to publish app. So let's do that now. Okay, let's confirm. Great. Now we need to move on to clients. And we need to create our client. So let's create client. And since we are talking about a Laravel application, it's going to be a web application. So we need to give a name to this application. I'll just call it Laravel Auth Client. And then we need to provide the authorized JavaScript origins. This is basically the domain that will be used for your Laravel application. So here we need to write the, the actual domain if you are going to use the domain. But since I'm only testing, I'm only demonstrating the feature, I'm going to use localhost. So my domain is going to be, or my IP actually, it's going to be HTTP 127.001. And then I need to specify the port, which is 8000, because this is the default port for Laravel. And then we need to specify the authorized redirect URI. This is the URI that Google will redirect our users after a successful login. So this needs to be within this website, inside the website that we specified here. So let me copy this and paste it here. And then we need to specify the URL inside this website. Now, I'm not going to just choose something arbitrary, but I'm going to go back to the documentation. And if we scroll down, let me scroll down a bit, we can see that later on we will define two routes. And the second one, this route, the second route, is the one that will be used after a successful login. So this is exactly what we want Google to redirect our users to. So let me copy this and paste it here. Okay, so after a successful login, this is where I want my users to be redirected to. So let's create this client. And now we can see the client ID and client secret. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to write it in our .env file, of course. So this is a good time to actually go ahead and create our Laravel project. And I use Composer to create my project. And let me call it Login with Google. Very good. Let's open this project in Visual Studio Code. Now, if we go back to the documentation, we can see that the first thing that we need to do is to install Socialite. So let's do that first. And now that Socialite is installed, we can move on to configuration. So here in the config folder, we have a file called services.php. And in the end of this file, we're going to add a new entry to this array. And here is the code that we need to paste here. And this code is, of course, for our Socialite driver. But I'm not going to use GitHub. I'm going to use Google. So let me replace GitHub with Google. And also my redirect, I don't want it to be hard-coded. I want to define it in my .env file. So this is also going to be something from my .env file. And let's say, let's call it, for example, Google callback URL. And now we need to provide the values for these three secret keys. So let me copy them and let's open our .env file and let's paste them here. And now we need the values themselves. 
So for the client ID, I'm going to go back to the Google Cloud Console, copy the client ID, and write it here. And the same thing for the client secret. So we copied these two, let's click on OK. And if we click on our client now, we can see all of the information about it. This is the callback URL. This is the URL we want Google to redirect our users after login. And this is what I'm going to provide as the callback URL here. Let's go back to the documentation. And now we can move on to routing. So let's save this file, we're done with this one. And routing, of course, is going to be in our routing file. So let's open the routes folder, and here we have web.php. And let me copy the first route and paste it in my file. And this route is basically the login route. This is the route we want our users to go to in order to log in with Google. And of course, once again, the driver is not going to be GitHub, but Google. So let's update this. And just to show you that we are on the right track, I'm going to serve my application. And if we visit the website, we can see the home page. And if we visit this URL, the auth redirect URL, we can see that we can log in with a Google account. But we are not done yet because we only have the redirect URL we still need to do something after a successful login. And to do that, we need the other route. I'm not going to copy it from here because this is only the skeleton. Here we have a fuller implementation. So let's copy it and paste it as well. We don't need this used twice, only once. So let's remove one of them. And also let me remove this route to the top. And once again, we're going to use Google and not GitHub. So let's update this. And wherever it says GitHub, we need to change it from GitHub to Google. So what we're doing here is after a successful login, we're using the driver to retrieve the user, the user that just logged in. And once we have this user, we can update it in our local database. So these keys are keys in our users table in our local database which means that we need to update our table to support these new fields so let's do that let's open our users table or the migration for this table here it is and we're going to need three new fields google id and also google token and google refresh token But I want to allow these two to be nullable. And also, I want the password field to be nullable. Because if we are using Google for the sign-in, this user is not going to have a password in our database. So this also needs to be nullable. And I'm also going to allow the Google ID to be nullable. Next, we need to update our user model. And specifically, we need to update the fillable array. So these three have to be added. Google ID, Google token, and Google refresh token. And because we updated our migration file, we need to rerun migrations. Let's try to serve our project again. And once again, I'm going to use the login route. Now, before we actually log in, let's think what's going to happen after we log in. So after the login, this route will be used, the callback route. And let's see what's returned from this route. This is what's returned, a redirect to another route called dashboard. But we don't have this route yet. So let's create it first. And to keep things simple, let's just return dashboard, a string that says dashboard. So let's refresh the page and try to sign in with the Google account. 
we need to approve access to the Laravel application to the Google account. And we can see dashboard. Now, the thing is that we're even going to be able to use the data that was retrieved from the user's Google account. Because as we can see here, we saved from the Google user their name and their email. So let's try, as an example, use the name of the Google user. This will be saved in the name field of the user. So let's say that I don't only want to show dashboard, the string dashboard, but I also want to concatenate to it the name of the Google user. So to do that, I can use auth. And in auth, I should be able to use user. This will give me access to all of the fields that are defined in our user model. And among them, we should have the name field. So let's try to log in again. And if I use this Google account to log in, I can see the name for this Google account shown here in my dashboard. Another point I want to emphasize is that we actually logged in. This creates strong integration with the Laravel authentication system. So it's going to be very easy to protect routes using the Google login. So let's say that I want the dashboard route to be protected. Only logged in users should be able to access it. To achieve that, we're going to use middleware. And the middleware is going to be auth. And now I want to create a group of protected routes. And since, for example, this user is already logged in, if I refresh the page, it's going to keep working the same way. But if I try to access this route from a user that's not logged in yet, I'm going to be redirected to the login route. And as we already said, this is basically the login route. So all we need to do to allow this route to be used as the login route is to give it the name login. So let's add the name. And now I'm going to create a new private window because I don't want my browser to use the authentication that's already saved in this window. So let's create it as an in-private window. And now I try to access the dashboard route in my application. And as you can see, I was redirected to the login page. 